Did you have fun? I did. Okay. I love being in charge of that. Or this <laughs> one. This one also is my favorite. We didn't even say anything ridiculous <laughs> yet, and she's already pushing that button. It's my favorite. Okay. Hi. We're here. What's up? We're here. Um. We made it to Friday. It's Friday. We did make it to Friday. God, that was tough. That was that. that this week was tough. It's been a long week. But we did good. We did good. Everybody made it through. How do you feel, Dad, with having your kid here? <sighs> it's great. Everything's great. <laughs> what is that? It, is that from Life of Pets? Everything it is, is great. great. Uh, yeah, when the cat's on catnip. Different, <laughs> different show. But it's okay. Everything. I'm doing so great. Yeah. So 24-7. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. And it's more like, can I have this and can I have these and can I have these? Mm -hmm. But I want these and I want that. I mean, it sounds about right. Do you see yourself in her a no, lot? Never. Not even a little bit. I'm not that complicated. <laughs> wow, both of you. Pause. Both of you. Wow. Um, that, that was the most honest. <laughs> Response, response ever. ever yeah it was you not complicated never never mm. interesting <clears throat> just gotta mind my business over here <laughs> interesting oh my god the echo of children mm -hmm. just throughout the house always but it's funny they're both uh i mean well she's not an only child but her her sister is way younger than her so she kind of has been an only child for a long time and then our kids an only child so this has been fun kind of trying to get them to uh to share to take responsibility oh for okay I'm the back. things everybody did so mm -hmm. like super fun well you were saying the other day when we first got home it was so funny to you because all you heard was Garrett, Liz, stop move do this. Go over here. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> when we first Dude, got home. <laughs> when, yeah. Like when you guys first got out of the car, holy crap. It was just like, all I heard was you go, Jeffrey. And then Jeffrey go, Elizabeth. And then <laughs> like, you were like, Garrett. And I was like, what? And the baby was like, what? And then you were like, stop it. And I was like, who? And yep. then all of a sudden you were like, Jeffrey, Elizabeth, Garrett, what? <laughs> Jeffrey, Elizabeth, Garrett, what? I was like, Oh God. This is what it has sounded like. This is this is the gist of the day that it has been since Wednesday. So good times. Good, good times. times. Good times. Well, they're here, they're having fun, they're settling in. And as we've been saying, that this is going to be a growth month for all of us. We are going to be able to <laughs> grow a lot from this month with having your daughter here Small and children running around like crazy yes learning experience and like i mean to the utmost when it comes to just crap everywhere like you can contain it with one you cannot contain it with two i don't know i hope oh my god the amount of things laying around everywhere with two children as compared to one woof well especially when you have Bubs, who's very used to things being a certain way. We live our house a very certain way. I wouldn't say like super structured. Well, I guess I guess we would for him because he no, likes super structured because he, he likes, likes that. The I think it's that autism mm -hmm. part. He, I mean, I have never been diagnosed with autism, and I like things structured, and he likes things cut and dry. Yeah, he's very so. literal. Like yes. someone else we know. Who? <laughs> the dog? <laughs> oh, is Charlie Brown back there? They're in his spot. He's been a trooper, though, with two young kids running around. And and he's he old and honorary. And losing his mind. He's been doing <laughs> okay. No I'm actually place to hide. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but I'm pretty proud of him because it's a, it's a challenge for good old Charbrown. 
being old and honorary and wanting to just lay. It's like he just wants to lay in the darkness in his spot and he can't because this one's over here. This one's open this. This one does this. This one's yelling here. Yeah, all lights are on everywhere. There's Constant no, noise. Yeah, like, no. not sure what to do with himself. And so every light is on. So annoying. Yep. Every light. Every light. All the time. All the time. <laughs> Listen, you're going to start setting this or setting your side down pretty early so you can just shut all the lights off. <laughs> no, it's more like if you're not in the room, please shut the lights off. I don't care which one's on. Just at least be in the room with the lights yeah. on. Well, also, it's so hot. <clears throat> so I just feel like keeping the lights off will like cool it down. But I mean, it's been so hot here and it's supposed to be hot tomorrow, too. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's supposed to go nuts. But then it's going to cool down right next week did they say i have no idea we're about oh to yeah go. tom tom panic filled every case we had every little yeah. spot that he could put water in he just put water in it i was like yeah. why is there water everywhere and he's like nope everything's getting water and when everyone got cold water everything's gonna be cold yeah because it's just you just walk outside you get out of the car and it's like a, you just get stopped it's like you get hit by a brick wall it's just so hot oh, yeah no it's a Hot so we're we gonna get into hot. the uh, the the beef. Whenever you're ready, the let's beef. do it. Yeah, I've been ready to get into this beef for a hot minute because it's it. a very oh, how do I want to say it? It's a very interesting beef that's happening. It's between uh, Monroe Flame, just hilarious, and then I think uh, Angelica crosses in there. Somewhere. Um, if you don't know who any of those people are, uh, Monroe Flame is a pretty, pretty well-known comedian. Um, she is trans. Uh, she's a trans woman, but definitely, you know, also knows that she is a man and, but likes to be identified as a trans woman. Um, and she's hysterical. She's great. Uh, she's super funny. She's been on uh, Power 105 out in California with Charlemagne and The Breakfast Club. She's been on numerous podcasts. She has her own podcast. Like she's she's super awesome. She's got kids. Like she's super cool. So, um, and she's been very vocal lately about there's a difference between trans women and biological women. And, uh, I guess, uh, from what I can tell this new generation of, uh, trans women doesn't appreciate it. I, and I think she said even some of the, the older generation doesn't appreciate it either, but, um, yeah, so that's Monroe flame. So she is on one side of the beef and then the other side of the beef is just hilarious who, uh, uh, she's a comedian too. Oh, I don't know if we gave him her. No, I don't think we gave you her Instagram. I'm sorry about that. But uh, Jess Hilarious is on the same side as Monroe Flame. And then there's Angelica Cross that's on the other side. That's just like shooting down anybody that... Like, she's like, if you're not for trans women being women and being like biological women and being the same as biological women like you're transphobic which mm -hmm. i have a hard time with and then jess hilarious and moreau flamer saying and jess uh jess hilarious is a biological woman and moreau flame is a trans woman they're both like hey there's a difference mm -hmm. like there's a difference and just because there is a difference doesn't mean we're transphobic it just means there's a difference between trans women and biological women mm -hmm. and angelica cross is like no there's no difference and if you say that there's a difference between the two you're transphobic so that's the beef that's this been happening lately. this one yep. yeah 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 it's just hilarious she's i mean she's a super funny comedian she's a great personality um yeah so she has her own podcast too, if I remember correctly. But well, she was over here on the Breakfast Club too. Yeah, she was. I feel like she went on uh, Charlemagne's podcast too, Brilliant Idiots. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right here, 
right here? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. iHeartRadio. Yeah. Off Facebook. Uh huh. Um, yep. She's got she's got her own podcast with a couple other girls that they do fantastic. It, it's super funny. Um, so, you know, it, it's just this big, again, it's another big topic of conversation. And Monroe Flame had a live today and she invited any and all, you know, uh, straight, or not straight, sorry, uh, biological women on there and wanted to have any, or, and she invited everybody on there. She was like, if you disagree with me, agree with me, whatever, like, come on, like, let's go let's have these conversations. I'm not fighting with you, but like, let's have these conversations and ask the questions and whatever. And I thought that was super cool. So I was like, okay, let's, let's have these conversations. It's, mm -hmm. it's a good way to do it. Yeah. I know I'm getting the echo of these kids. Let me shut this door. <laughs> I think that's the important part is just to be able to have conversations about everything that's going on. You know, also too, it's hard because we only hear the bits and pieces that people actually share. So we don't exactly know what the full beef is between, you know, what those particular characters in this story are going through and, and having those types of disagreements or conversations and stuff like that. But I think that the most important thing is to be able to have conversations about it without feeling, I just, my my thing is just that everybody is so defensive. Like every single person in every single conversation is so defensive where it's like you can't even have a conversation with someone because the minute that you say something or you ask a question that is taken offensively, um, it's very hard to come back from feeling like you're being attacked. Yeah, you're automatically homophobic or you're automatically transphobic or you're automatically Ugh. That's so annoying. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it is. It sucks because it's not that. Like it's we're like we we can have different opinions. We we can yeah, do that. And, and that's and the whole okay. point of everything. Like right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I it and it just it's super frustrating because coming from you know I mean obviously I live in a different scenario. Like I'm a biological woman that most people think I'm a trans man. And I don't get believed half the time. And it like me navigating this life is weird. But also like I'm a woman mm -hmm. and I, I played women's sports. I, you know, I got scholarships. I went to, went to college. I did all those things. I was in the military. I was, you know, as a woman, like a real biological woman with ovaries and a period and tampons. So where's our place? Like, I'm just not sure what's, what's really happening right now. Mm -hmm. But if I had to play sports against biological men, that's, that's super, that's tough. I mean, that's where I'm coming from. That's where it hit me the most is like, I, I was going to play basketball against biological men. I'm going to, Mm -hmm. he, there's no way. Yeah. I mean, even at your height and weight and, and size, si yeah. and like range, like, I mean, you could just take basketball, for instance, like your range and your size is, were you the tallest on most of your competitions? I mean, or like, did you have like that one girl on each team that could kind of match you and be very close? Yeah. I, will, uh, I mean, yeah. Once I got to college, there was always one or two on every team that were either my size or bigger, whatever. But, but most of them were like, if you had to like, at, like guesstimate, like wh how, how tall were they? How big were they? Like what? Five, six, five, seven, like me. Well, no, I don't know. No, not you. I'm saying like other teammates and other members and you know, whatever. Oh, on my own team, usually there was always one girl that was taller than me, but she was very, very much skinnier than me. Mm -hmm. Um, and then everybody else on the team was like five, nine ish, like yeah. five, seven, five, eight, five, nine. Yeah. Then there was me. Then there was like another like six, four or six, three, mm -hmm. but that was back then. Now, now it's like everybody, there's at least like two or three girls on the team that are six, four plus yeah. They're the guards now are six, one, six foot. 
So it's, I mean, it's very different now than it was before, but at the same time, like, but you at six, me at six foot. foot at the time was very not normal. Right. And also you at six foot and a biological man at six foot are very different. Are very different. Yeah. And so I think that that is. Weird. Oh, if what you're asking me is if I could hold my own against another girl that was six foot four. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was not worried about it. She could be taller than me or not, but I was not worried about that. Like I, I had just as much, much muscle, just as much speed, just as much like force pressure, whatever you want to say as she did. Yeah. She was just taller. Yeah. No. And, and it was more in like the comparison of your average female size compared to your average male size and how yeah, they're, no. they're not the same, you know, I mean, your average male, and we're just talking about basketball because you played basketball, but what's the average size if you had to guess for a male in basketball? Oh, they're all six foot plus. You know I what I'm say. saying? I mean, like, they hover at six. That's all they do. Yeah. If you, if you want to like Steph Curry, I think is six foot as a guard or five. Is he? Maybe and that's he, what it is. And he's small. Like, I was he gonna looks say small. You, you know what I mean? Foot? Like he, he's one of, you know, it's Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. He's like six foot, probably 170, 160. I don't know. He looks skinny to me compared to all these other dudes. But that, but that's what I mean. Like, and he looks tiny and he looks tiny on that, it's field, not, on that court. Yeah, like, like he, he looks, looks tiny, 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 tiny. Yeah. Um, A small six two. Yeah. Huh? I mean, He's six two. He's six two. Yes. Yeah, he looks. Ooh, yeah, yeah, he does not look six two. <laughs> I knew he was six feet, but like he, I mean, yeah, he doesn't. You put him up to LeBron James, who's a guard. LeBron James is six foot six, and he's like two hundred and thirty pounds mm -hmm. of solid man muscle. Like it's yeah. yeah he, he's six nine. Who? LeBron six. LeBron nine. six nine. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh shit. Nope. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like that that's why Steph looks small. I mean uh yeah. It's there's just a difference and and to not acknowledge that there's a difference to me is uh, uh, dangerous. Mhm. Mm like to not acknowledge that there's a difference between male and ma male anatomy and female anatomy is dangerous. Mhm. Mm so yeah, and there's been a, a lot of reports about, you know, women that have been injured in sports with trans women in their sports. The one that that I I don't remember her name, but I think she was a volleyball player or whatever that got a ball right to the nose yeah, or something like that and completely yeah. shattered her nose. I think she's completely se uh, or se severely brain damaged. Like she can she's functioning, but she's severely brain damaged can't be by herself, like completely went from like A to Z, like overnight with, you know, one, one situation, one incident, one experience. Um, and so I really do believe that there is a space that needs to be talked about and have these conversations. Well, yeah. And I don't want to get away, like the conversation that they were all having, the conversation that like Monroe Flame and, um, and and just hilarious we're having with angelica cross like i feel like monroe flame and just hilarious were trying to have a conversation and angelica cross was pretty much just like no if you don't see it this way it's transphobic mm -hmm. and that's also dangerous mm -hmm. you know what i mean like it that was that same thing with that I think I, I think you brought this up before and it goes back to this and there's a very long line of this is like even if you go back to religion if you try to force 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 religion down people's throats they don't they don't want to hear it anymore. Yeah. They have to come to it on their own mm -hmm. and find it on their own and it's like therapy. What are you talking about? Therapy. Force someone in it's the same you can't force someone to therapy. They need to believe this problem that they want to fix. Mhm. Mm and I'm not, I'm not saying that the same, like, I'm not saying religion and this are the same thing, obviously, because. I, no, it's just a concept of forcing something on somebody. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's that. Oh, you're talking about what I was, 
what I was saying or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, when I was younger, you know, and why I have a very, I, I guess I have a very personal relationship with faith, lack of religion, lack of whatever you want to call it was because when I was younger, I had a particular family member that was literally trying to shove their religion down my throat. And I was like, I don't, I, one, you're, you're like preaching it to me, but you're not explaining it to me in a way that I can understand. I was young, you know, and also you're trying to throw it at me and saying that if you don't believe this, then it's wrong. If you don't believe this, then it's X, Y, Z. And it's all, it was all these negative things. And so for me, I very much was like, okay, I don't want any part of that. I don't want, you know, and I, through my own work, I've come to my own belief in faith. I don't know if you'd call it a religion, but like faith outside of myself and, you know, whatever. But when you constantly are forcing people to only believe what you say your way exactly how you say it i think that that causes a lot of problems because i i can believe that two things are true i can see things different ways and also choose what i believe and what i don't believe yeah you know and with all well with this you'll never ever get me to believe that a trans woman is actually a woman can I respect a trans woman? Can I call her her? Can I like be gracious and kind and and like have fun and have a good time and whatever? Yeah, absolutely. You but you'll never get me to believe that a trans woman isn't biological woman and is the same and goes through the same things. There's just there's no way. And I'm trying to understand how that makes me transphobic or it, it's not like I don't want trans people to succeed or trans people to be happy, but they're too, it, it's still, you're still not a woman, a biological woman, like, and you can't be one it, it, there. You just can't. Mm -hmm. And it, <sighs> I don't know what it is. I mean, a lot of people want to throw around that it's a, a mental disorder or whatever. I'm not quick to say that. Um, I'm not, you know, I, I, I'm not going to throw out that someone just has a mental disorder because of that or whatever. Do I think like they, like more conversations need to be had? Of course. Like I would say for the most part, my feeling is, and you guys can, I mean, I, I experienced a little bit of this when I was a young adult, which was like, I was so afraid to be gay. Cause at the time being gay was not a correct thing. Like that was not how the world was supposed to go. Makes sense. So I thought, well, I'm attracted to girls. If I can become a man, then it's okay for me to be with girls. It wasn't that I wanted to be a man. It wasn't that I wanted to change my gender. It wasn't that I wanted to change my sex. I just wanted to be able to be with the person that I wanted to be with. And so if this is what society says you have to be to be able to be with this person, then half of my brain was like, oh, well, maybe I have to do that. Yeah. How do you find your place in society? Yeah. How do you fit in society? So yeah. if you have all these people being like, instead of asking like, hey, do you think you might be gay? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay. Go be a girl. Go be a boy. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, yeah. I, so oh. I just think they're they're starting to treat these kids like they're adults and they can make adult decisions and I they're not. And I don't think they're ready to make adult decisions. Yeah. And you know, of all the adult decisions that we ever made when we were teenagers, <laughs> how many of those are we were are we like, yeah, good job? Mm. I mean, it's more like <laughs> Mm. Good job we walked away from that one. Yeah, well, like, yeah good job we survived. Where he survived. <laughs> <laughs> that we're still here. We made it to 30. Like, damn, I really did that shit. Uh -huh. You did well, it. Yeah. You know, so. My my biggest question, I think, when it comes, not so much about the kids. You guys all know how I feel about the kids. Like, you live yeah. your truth, live happy, be you. But when you start going after children and 
sexualizing children and not, I, I don't feel that if a child came to you and said, I feel like if I was a young girl and I went to my teacher and, and I was like, I feel like I might want to be a boy or I feel like I like boy things. Does this make me a boy? And the first response is from what we've seen a lot of is, oh, you were just born in, in, in the wrong body and let's help you and let's fix that and let's support you with that. I don't think that that is the appropriate first answer to that statement. I believe that there's it's not. so many other ways that we can support of- them follow-up questions to that statement you should probably be asking i mean so many yeah, follow-up so questions. many and it just seems like that the first response now is this conversation and this pressing to be like oh you must just be born in the wrong body let's fix that let's push this agenda let's, let's push this culture right now just right like now anybody yeah whereas like there are certain things that both boys and girls can like sports being active, yeah. doing things like yeah. that. I mean, I was a tomboy girl, a tomboy growing up. Like, and we, baby, we say this all the time. Like, if we were young now, like us being tomboys, like they would have pushed this sexualized agenda on both of us. And God only knows what our journeys would have been like, like, and what we would have done and who we would have become. Are tomboys still a thing? That's still a term. No, I, I, I don't believe they, that they it feel is. Like it's, a, it's a term that's not, not right. It's not it? used as much anymore, and mm-hmm. it's and it's sad. And I, I, it, you know, it was fun being that. Like mm-hmm. it was fun going. Nobody. To... That wasn't like a bad thing. I think they were trying to yeah. change it or like even abolish it, like saying it was like bad. I don't. I I don't know. I feel like now it's if you're a masculine woman or a masculine female you have to go ahead and just be a dude. Mm -hmm. And if you're a feminine male, you have to go ahead and just be a a woman. Like, why can't you just be a feminine male or a masculine female? What's Mm -hmm. the problem? I have so many feminine male friends. It's, it's not a thing. Like you you just go, why, why all of a sudden, Oh, just go ahead and finish the job. Like what? Or, I don't know, just go put some glitter on and dance at a gay bar and have some fun. Like what's mm-hmm. so so you're my uh, and again, I'm probably gonna get transphobic hate, but I'm no, not wait. being transphobic at all. Say it. How has it come to where we're trying to get ri- kind of get rid of lesbians and get rid of our gay men? Like you can't just be gay anymore. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it just. So... Yeah, that was the what was that? That semi bisexual crap I heard. Oh yeah, that was Christ, mm-hmm. dumbest crap ever. The, yeah, the, I didn't understand that bisexual, either. Bisexual, but, but it, attracted like... to one gender. I'm like, what? No, what it, was it? It was semi. What was it? Was, it? it was semi bisexual. It was like you're bi, but you attract to only one gender. I'm like, you just so you just buy them. You're, you're gay or you're straight. Like, like, like... Just... or you're bi, or you're like both. Just. Oh my God! Just be uh, yeah. straight. Just be straight, okay? Why? Been, why make it so ridiculously complicated? Mm-hmm. It is so complicated, and it wasn't so complicated. But but more like, I just I have so many questions. <laughs> it's really what it comes down to. You know what I mean? Like the the question that I have for adults is. Why does it have to come across as you having to step on everyone to be accepted? Like, like you want to live your, your most authentic life and you want to be your truest person. And I'm all for that. I believe that everybody should, if it makes you happy and you're not hurting anybody else, like live your truth, live your life to the fullest. Like I'm for it. I just don't understand why if we are women and we are supposed to be supporting women, why are biological women being stepped all over and being thrown out essentially? Like you get to live your life in support of womanhood and being a woman. And yet we are the, we are the most criticized when we are simply saying 
I am a biological woman and I'm proud of being a biological woman, but we're supposed to accept everybody else. Being a biological woman? Like, I, being I don't- a woman, whatever. Yeah, like I, that's yeah. just, I, I just feel, again, I think, and this kind of goes back to like the whole, the whole kids thing, like everything feels so extreme. Like if you, if you don't believe exactly what, someone else believes exactly how they believe it, then all of a sudden you're an evil, nasty person where I am like, I'm a woman. I'm not, I'm a woman. I'm not, you know, I, like, I don't know if I asked the question the right way, but I think I said it better. Earlier, no, 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 <laughs> no, I get it. Like I, it used to, it used to just be where like, we could all separately kind of like, live our lives and be happy. Like drag queens had their stuff. They ha I, I don't even know how drag queens really got dragged into this, but. Uh, That's true. What are they? They don't. I don't, I don't even know. I honestly. Is it because they're dressing up? Is I, Well, it was because somebody, some extremist wanted to do drag shows for kids, which was. Oh, that might be. So then drag point. queens got brought all into this for some reason and half of them are like why are we performing for children and the other half are like what's the problem with it like for the I movement mean, for the movement no for adults not. that's drag shows and whatever we're always for adults and then you got Maybe these, that's more of the question these like parents are more scared to like go against this? it I, I don't understand how it became bad like drag shows are fine go to a drag show at 10 o'clock at night in a bar that's 21 and over and have a good time and have a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Have drag friends at your house. Like they're, it's fun. Fine. Trans women, trans men, tra the trans community, all awesome, super fun for adults though. Yeah. And again, maybe that's the bigger question. I, is I just that don't when... know where it became, we like where this agenda came from. Like I, it just, we were all, Gay people were just out being gay, doing gay things. I, I kind of want to know what, the hell they're, what they're pushing for. Like, what's, what's I don't the I don't understand it either. Like, what are, what are they trying to get? Other than trying to make people just conform to them being what they say they are, and we get well, to it's, over it. It's definitely a leftist movement. So I don't I don't know what they. I mean, some of my conspiracy theories about it are is that they just really deep down inside want us all to argue with each other. So we all just implode and kind okay. of disappear or just be focused on the dumb crap and not the crap. stupid ass shit they're doing. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's yeah. Like, I always, mean, that's, that's always a distraction. Um, the agenda is always a distraction. I don't know why they're coming so much for the kids. I haven't been able to kind of wrap my head around that. Cause that was usually always a very liberal thing was like, that was more of a no go for anybody. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. It wasn't even a but, liberal thing. Like everybody was, uh, don't go. Yeah. I mean, even people in jail know that. To do that yeah. Shit. Not like, yeah, <laughs> fuck with kids. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I feel like if anything, it's just cause they know it's going to outrage everybody. If they I, I don't know if, if the Dems just want to win elections and shit. So if we all feel super marginalized and super, super oppressed and super whatever then the democrats can shout out like hey we love the gays we love the trans we love the blah 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 marginalized groups vote for us and we'll they'll just keep winning like i'm not, i i'm sure it's a combination of all of it but at the same time now you're making like and I said this six months ago that the gay community was going to implode or the LGBTQ was just going to implode. Yeah. And we are we, we all, all said fighting this. each other. We all, we all said this. We, we all, all said it's yeah. just going to get worse. It's not going to get better. Everyone's going to start separating. Yep. We're all Especially, especially the gays who don't want any part of what's going on now. Yeah, I don't. Like y'all just want, again, you're a gender. We want to get married to who we want to get married to. Can we just do that? And it was like the, the biggest thing. Leave yeah. us alone. Let us get married. That was That's it. it. And then we did it and then we were all fine. Yeah, and then I don't know what happened in the last freaking four years, but I don't Men know. want to be women. People who suck at sports want to be better. I don't know. I, I don't know. Dude, that's the, I, that's the 
some of this, some of these transgender women, I do. I'm not even gonna lie. I'll say it. Like, I feel like they just want to win some shit. So, like, like well, some yeah, of these stories I'm hearing, they just want to win some shit. I feel like once once one person did it, they were like, "Oh, we could just do this," and there's like really no nothing we need to do other than say something. Okay, bet I'm going to do it. I want some trophies. That dude that raced in a New York, he was in a bike. It was a bike situation along i don't know what those things are called but it was a long like was it was it a bike or was it a marathon it might have been a marathon marathon. i think it was just a running marathon and he came in like 1200th place competing as a man in new york then he went to london identified as a woman did nothing but put makeup on all he did was put some makeup on his hair was the same his beard was the same like everything was the same he ran in that and won like, mm-hmm. so I don't it know. just goes back to the whole concept of women are not protected, you know, and for the again, biological women, you have to say, yes, the difference. Biological yes. women are not protected right now. Yes. No, you guys have been getting like the crap out of the sick, like a lot of it. Mm-hmm. So, so much so that they try to like change it all together. And then within the same day, change it right back. Like, nope, nope, too far. Like, yeah, you're doing too much. Yeah, but it's a conversation nobody wants to have without yelling at each other, and it's like, it's it's immediately you're transphobic, or you don't like the LGBTQIA plus community. Yeah, well, again, so, it goes it goes to the to the all the questions that I have. We're supposed to be supportive of each other, and we're supposed to be welcoming and including and um, accepting of everybody, but yet everything is being changed. Um, meanings are being changed. I didn't breastfeed my child. I was a feeder. Is that what I'm called now? A chest chest feeder. feeder, Yeah. Like I, I breastfed my son for a year. Oh, and our vagina is a bonus hole. If anybody wanted to, it's no longer a vagina. It's a bonus hole. So I'm just, (laughs) I'm just, that's what, like, like, listen, that's what the changes here. And bonus. Bonus You mean the only one that you got? Yeah, from the That's beginning, it. before no, it's a, a bonus, bonus. bonus. a bonus. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I had another hole, that's, that's what you guys are hole. getting. You're getting a bonus. That's weird. That's okay, but we have to change everything that yeah. makes us who we are. You know, I, the trans women are trying to be y'all. So, but we have to do it in sh- in to show acceptance for the trans women but where is the acceptance for us for us like i'm a i'm a woman and it's trying to be it's it's hard now because like i you know i would call friends and other women like what's up sis what's up sis and now it's completely losing the meaner i mean sis as sis like my sister my like my girl and now it's more of that conversation of cis like i'm telling this person that they're a cis woman and that's not I don't you- walk around and say that I'm a cis woman. I'm a woman. Like I, I'm a woman, you know? And so that's, that's more of my, my question and, and me trying to understand and, and do my own feelings and research about this whole thing is that like, we're, we have to change. Why do we have to change everything for you to feel welcome? But we have these conversations and ask you to support us in the same way and when we ask you to support us in the same way then we're hateful we're transphobic we're against you guys we're not on the same team we don't see you as is we're trying to keep things from you we're you know entitled and all of these things i don't know how all of a sudden being a woman that now i'm being criticized for being entitled or feeling like i'm entitled to the very things that make me a woman when did that become the thing? That's what you it know, is. and that that's always my question when it comes to the adult with adults. Like again, live your life, live your truth. I'm happy for you. And everybody should be able to live their life as long as again, you're not causing harm to anybody else. But this is starting to be a thing where it's like we can live the way that we want to, but we're not allowed to. We have to conform to the new narrative. We have the to new, conform the to new- the new 
whatever the new speech you know or, so you that's always my things. question is Ugh. again why does it have to be so extreme left and right black and white like where they want it to stay that way so that's all because they just want to stay that way because as gonna... long as we continue to fight with each other and we can be we continue to be pissed off with each other like it they don't have to worry about it so mm -hmm. i don't know uh shout out to monroe and shout out to jess hilarious for uh for coming through for us and starting the conversation i'm sure we'll have more conversations like this but uh love them love monroe always been a big fan mm -hmm. and uh Thanks, guys. All right. It's been real. Love you. Bam, ya. bam. Love you. Bye.